Well, what a hectic day at the man has ended up being. And uh, hi, how we doing? Uh, good to see everybody here on this day. And like I said, what a hectic day it's been. If you're seeing where I am, you can see that I'm back home as it was a busy day for Grimsby uh, as we had a departure, two arrivals, and a game. <laughs> And that's what this video is going to be all about. Uh, I've just come back from the Grimsby Town, uh, Grimsby Boer. Um, Pre-season friendly, the first one for the Mariners. And boy, boy, oh boy, what a day. And first we'll start off with the departure. Um, and uh, that came sort of first thing this morning. Uh, with the departure of uh, Toby Malarkey being confirmed, he moves to um, Crawley in undisclosed for an undisclosed fee, um, and um, uh, Grimsby Town announced the departure by saying this: "We can confirm that Toby Malarkey has joined Crawley Town for an undisclosed fee." The defender who joined the Mariners last summer made 42 appearances for town, scoring twice in the victories against Salford and Crew. On Malarkey's departure, head coach David Artell said, We'd like to thank Toby for being part he played last season, particularly during the last couple of months of the campaign. However, we feel as though it's a deal that works for all parties and it gives us another opportunity to improve our squad in that position. Toby's a real good professional and I'd like to wish him well for the future. Everyone at the club would like to thank Toby for his con contribution as a mariner. And of course we do, and I do, um, wish all the best to Toby Malarkey as he moves over to Crawley to, <laughs> to link up with um, um, an Irish ace. Who we also had here, as it was also confirmed that Gav Hollihan uh, moved to Crawley as well at the same time. So good luck to both them boys in their new venture at Crawley. But as one uh, man's departure was confirmed, um, two arrivals um, turned up. And um, this one came as a little bit of a surprise to me, and I say that because when I when I I heard the name and I thought I do know this guy, I know I know who this guy is, and it was like if it's the guy I'm thinking of, and I thought yes, it was um, Lewis Cass has uh, announced uh, by the club. Like this, we are delighted to announce the signing of defender Lewis Cass on a two year deal. The 24 year old moves to Bundle Park following the expiration of his contract at fellow League Two club Port Vale, where he made 71 appearances during a two year spell. The defender spent the second half of last season on loan at Stockport County and helped the Hatters win promotion to League One. He did make nine appearances. For them, so much so in um, his first appearance for Stockport, which I'd completely forgotten about, he scored against us. Weirdly enough, um, Stockport. So it was uh, he made nine appearances with them and scored at least one, which was against us. Uh, if you want to hear about that, that goes on his uh, club interview, which you can find over on Grimsby Town's YouTube channel. Uh, Cass progressed through the ranks at Newcastle and was named on the bench for the Magpies on a couple of occasions prior to joining Hartlepool United on loan where he helped the Pools win promotion back to the EFL via the playoffs in 2021. Uh, the following season Cass moved to Port Vale on loan and made the move permanent in the summer of 2022. On the arrival of Cass, head coach David Artell did say, I'm delighted he'd been able to sign Lewis uh, because I feel 
he will improve us in that area of the pitch. We have a long-standing interest in Lewis and actually tried to sign him back in January. And uh, in Lewis's interview, he did say that the, the interest was there in January, which uh, backs up what Artel was saying. So he was definitely uh, in demand for the club. He was somebody the club wanted. Uh, we knew we were going... Uh, we knew we were getting a good player, continues Artel, with the right character and someone who knows what's required to win promotion out of this league following his spells with Port Vale and Stockport. Uh, I'm now looking forward to working with him day to day and helping develop, uh, helping him develop as a player. And I want to say this is a little bit of a get for Grimsby really. Um, um, you know, and people have said, is he a, is he Toby Malarkey's replacement? I believe so. Um, same position as Toby, can play in the same kind of positions as Toby. You have to believe that, yes, it was. It is Toby's replacement. Um, you know, and um, they work quickly to, to get that replacement. Um, uh, they did then, the club then did have uh, an interview with um, Cass and he said about the move, I'm buzzing to get it over the line. It's been in the pipeline for a few weeks, so I'm glad to be here. The setup is brilliant and I'm ready to go. I've been involved in a couple of promotions recently and we've got a good squad here and hopefully everyone can push each other. I'm naturally a fullback, a fullback, it's a fallback, but a fullback, uh, but I can also slot into a back three. I'm a fit lad who likes to get up and down and also defend one-on-one. -on -one. So welcome to the Mariners, as they say, Lewis. And I would like to say the same thing uh, to Lewis Cass. Welcome to the club, my friend. Um, and uh, this just looked like it was a, a, a player that Artel wanted. Uh, it looked like he earmarked him with the with the data and choice that he wanted this guy. And uh, going to be watching him since January. And like I said, um, do go and check check the interview that they did do with um, they did do with Lewis on. Uh, Grimsby Town's YouTube channel. Uh, it goes into why the deal pretty much did not take place in January. Uh, and it's pretty understandable, really, why not. But uh, is there any other circumstances, I believe, it would have been done but because of the situation. But go and listen to Lewis's interview over on the YouTube channel. It's great to have... Um, a quick replacement for Toby so um, um, in the building so that was of course signing number six and then came signing number seven. Oh boy um, and this one had been rumoured for quite a while that the interest was there last week in an interview with Matt Dean David Artell did come out and say um, that they were talking about the guy. Uh, it's the Icelandic ace, which hopefully he becomes. Uh, and the club announced it. I loved it, actually, by the way. That they announced it with the with the video. This came out while I was actually getting to the uh, friendly. Um, and I saw the video afterwards. I love it. How, the, how they use the Icelandic claps to... Uh, to announce and simply said he's here uh, which I thought was fantastic um, you know and it, it, um, so the Mariners did <clears throat> excuse me the Mariners did announce it by saying this the Mariners are delighted to announce the signing of Icelandic international Jason Daddy Svanthorsen uh, and um, from uh, Brillo Brick. I can't pronounce that, but I really have butchered that. 
club's name, that um, the 24-year-old makes the move to bundle Park on a two-year deal for an undisclosed fee, subject to FA, EFL and international clearance, and the player obtaining a work permit. Uh, Svan Thorson uh, began his career as a youth player at Offilding. I don't know why I delayed there. I was trying to get the spelling correct. Before signing for um, the lower blick uh, in February 2021, where he made 64 uh, goal involvements in 127 appearances. The winger has also made five appearances for the Iceland national team, making his debut in a friendly against San Marino in June 2022 by his most recent appearance of coming January of this year. On bringing the Iceland international over to England, head coach David Artell said, I'm delighted that we've been able to sign Jason. I've seen him play a few times and he can score goals from wide areas and can link up play. We beat off a lot of clubs all over the world, but he chose us as he thinks we're the best club to develop his career. I'm very looking forward to working with him and bringing what he can do to Grimsby Town. After putting pen to paper on a deal with Town, uh, Sven Thorson said, it's an amazing feeling and I'm excited to get started. England is such a big country for football. So I think everyone wants to play in England. I've done some research about the club and I've heard the fans are amazing, so I'm looking forward to seeing them. And asked what kind of player that he was. He says, I'm a winger who likes to create goals and also score goals. So hopefully I can do that at Grimsby. Again, if you want to see that full interview, it's only about two minutes long or so, um, with Jason, then uh, it is over on uh, the Grimsby Town YouTube channel. And uh, I would like to uh, say welcome aboard, Jason. Great to have you on, on board. Um, fans have seen a lot of, uh, of good things about Jason. Uh, it looked promising. And, you know, a signing here that is really out the box. You know, um, obviously, we do know that Artel had been in Iceland. Uh, I think that's where the rumour had come from because I think that's where he was um, when he made that video just before the first uh, deadline of season tickets. I think that's where he was at the time, obviously trying to to get the deal in motion. And, um, you know, this is good. Again, I, I like the signings. Um, Cass is probably, to me, the most known signing. Um, and obviously probably the most successful what we've seen but I like this when you when you uh, find someone like uh, Sven Dawson who has got a great pedigree coming over from Iceland and um, you know we, we, we've known to to give sort of like the, the Nordic and Baltic kind of players from that area um, we have done that with uh Sebring and Ludwig Oman in the past from Sweden. So th this is this is just uh, another feather in the cap of Grimsby to be able to get a player of of Jason's standing uh, within that area of the game, and obviously a full uh, Iceland international to come over to play for. Uh, Grimsby Town is, is really a coup for the club. And um, one thing we did lack last year was um, width and pace down there and a bit of creativity. So to finally actually get that, you know, and actually get that with, with Jason is a fantastic, uh, great signing for the club. And uh, I'm intrigued just to see uh, what happens? I wonder if he'll be involved against Cleethorpes on Saturday. We'll have to wait and see, but I I'm sure that I'm sure that Lewis and Jason will want to get involved on uh, 
Saturday. We'll wait and see if they are. But this is turning into an intriguing squad. Again, no real what you call big names uh, signing for Grimsby, but the players that are, you can tell they're being well thought out and they're who the manager wants as well. As much as the, the data is driving it, Artel is obviously saying, yes, I do want him. I do want them. And it's it's great to, again, have some uh, Nordic and Baltic flavour to the manners. And we get it. So welcome aboard, Jason. Fantastic to have you on board. I'm looking forward to seeing what you can do in uh, the black and white of the Mariners. And finally, finally, because uh, this video is going on quite a while, um, there was our very first pre-season friendly, which took place um, just down the road at uh, Grimsby Borough. And can I just say, the weather uh, stayed clear for a majority of that it, it, it threatened to rain it was trying to but uh overall it it stayed fine for the whole of the game and um uh i literally thought it was a um a good workout for the lads really um Obviously, five of the seven signings that uh, took place actually did um, take part in the game. And um, obviously, uh, the goals did come. Um, one just before the break. Um, and uh, I thought it was kind of a... It was good, sort of two teams... Started in the first half. Uh, writing goal, Warren, Hume. We had um, we had three trialists start in the second half. Trialist B, A, D and C. Sorry, four. Uh, Henry uh, Brown, um, McCarquin, Corey and Thompson started the first half and in the first half again we played some real good um we played some real good football to be honest and uh uh McEachern, he um uh, he kind of ran the show early and actually tries to see who people are looking as to who that possibly may be um I won't go into who it is because nothing's been confirmed, but there's been a, a name flying around of a Charlton under-21 player maybe being, being there. And I have to admit, uh, I was over someone and he kind of stood out. He was very, very, he was a very pacey winger again. And so we'll have to see whether he plays again for the club or not. But in general, I thought the overall play in the first half was good. Um, there was good, good, uh, good tempo. Um, Denver Hume um, did, uh, you know, he he did very well in the first half. To be fair, George did have a good game. George McEachern and um, and uh, to be fair. Uh, it was a very good, a very, very good first game. I think uh, Warren, Terrell Warren, uh, did well as well. Like I said, he, he, uh, but I like the way the, the, the football was trying to be played. We tried to go side to side. We tried to thread balls through. You can see what Artel's trying to do. Um, the lads were trying to get there and you know we threatened a lot of corners we didn't really have a lot of uh, uh, we didn't really have a lot of, of um, uh, pressure against us really I think they had probably one shot each half but um, 
Brown got the goal. Um, Henry Brown got the goal. That's it. I know he's on the high, but Henry Brown got the first goal on 43 minutes, and it was actually a nice take because he took it from uh, from McEachern and um, a nice simple pass. It was simple passing. It was easy on the eye. Um, obviously, not every pass is perfect. But it was on the eye, uh, it was easy on the eye, and uh, Henry uh, cut inside, and he didn't blast it, he, he placed it into the uh, into the corner. Uh, my view was a bit obstructed for that goal, but um, it was, as I said to someone stood next to me, it sounded nice, um, from, from what I could see, but it was... Uh, it was a good move. I'll be looking forward to watching that back at some point. Watching that goal back at some point. It was, uh, uh, but it was a very solid professional half with the trialists. One trialist dis did stand out. Um, and uh, we think it was a lad called Ladapo, but there's nothing necessarily. Uh, Tolu Ladapo is the guy that's been um, questioned whether it was. Um, and um, like I said, he's recently been released from Charlton's under 21s, but nothing confirmed on that. But we'll see. Um, he was the only one in the trial that came back out in the second half, believe it or not. Uh, or, you know, where was in the second half, it was pretty much the same. I mean, the. Uh, the second half team that started uh, was Eastwood in goal, Storr, Rogers, McJanet, Carson, Crib, Green, Trialist C, who actually came off on 61 minutes, Foy, Clements, Corey, Giles started, and Blankley um, came on on 61 minutes as well for Corey. And... Um, it was just a solid, it was a solid performance second half again. Eastwood had probably one shot to, to save, which he, he, he dealt with fairly simply, very easy. Harvey Rogers, um, is good. I think I think the only thing with Harvey is you might get him for pace, which is, which is one thing. But um, I think, you know, it was a. It was a solid. It was a solid half. It was a good, good performance. There was another goal. Um, Janet, though, I just want to give him uh, a, a little bit of credit. He um, he had a uh, he had a he had a an effort. Uh, he had a free kick actually that that very nearly went in and smacked the top of the smacked the post. Uh, was very unlucky for it not to go in. Uh, Definitely showing what he's like at dead ball situations. And uh, very, very unlucky not to score. Um, but we got a we got a chance uh, sort of near the end. Uh, it was a low free kick, as they put here on the, the website. He had a low free kick. I was in for double their advantage. That a low cross from the left was cleared before it could reach Clements. Um, and Green headed wide as well. The second half, McCorner on 80 minutes. Then a foul on Giles two minutes later. Gave Town a free kick in their central position. From it, uh, Grimsby finally got their second. Matty Carson with an absolute belter uh, to get past uh, Everton in the Boa goal and into the net. It absolutely flew in. And um, it was basically... Uh, it was just a see-out job after that second goal. And um, they did. And uh, it, I'd say it was a good... It was a good early workout. We've got those couple of players to, to try and integrate into the game. The next game that Grimsby have got is at the Linden Club on Saturday against 
Three Thorps Town. That's going to be uh, a tough game, I believe, actually, for, for, uh, for Grimsby. Another good uh, step up. And overall, I thought everybody, uh, including Kevin Green, um, everybody in the first half as well, had a good game. You know, uh, like I said, Terrell Warren had a good game. Denver Hume um, shows what he could do with them. Um, when he get when he gets wide and Chris Thompson started in that as well, um, and obviously Brown that got the, the opening goal, you, you know, um, great composure, uh, you know, and and McCac uh, run with um, in the end, sort of an assist for Henry Brown's goal. It, it was all good. It was a solid, strong performance. It was one that Arto would be happy with. I'm sure obviously there'd be a lot that he probably wasn't happy with. Uh, maybe again being maybe a little bit more clinical would have been best, but you know, it's the first game preseason. The guys have been back a week and um, I can't fault um, that win. Uh, it's a 2-0 win. Uh, you don't read too much into it. It's just good to get the minutes and things. I suppose the good thing as well, though, is both goalkeepers kept the clean sheet. We won both halves by a goal to nil. And after a week, you can't really ask them, ask more of them, apart from maybe um, trying to take a couple more shots a little bit more regularly. At times, I thought Town ever played slightly. Um, but this is what Artel wants from me. He wants them to try and be, obviously he wants them to be progressive and try and play in little pockets here and there. And what I would say is we did try and use the width as well as we could. We did spread it from side to side quite well. So um, I know this is a long video, but quite a lot happened on this day. And I thought I'll, I'll get it all in in one video. Um, well, mainly because uh, with the game happening so I, I think you know it's been a a productive day and a busy day at Grimsby Town Football Club uh, but great to see um, so much happen and um, to see a win at the end of it so uh, it looks like I'm back with full Grimsby content guys um, you know, I don't feel like I've had seven weeks off, does it? Uh, covering Grimsby uh, from a playing perspective. Well, this is pre-season started. Uh, we move on to Cleethorpes on Saturday. So if you are at the Linden Club, come and say hello. Good to see you all. And uh, I'm back with any more news during the week that comes out for Grimsby Town. But in the meantime, guys... If you like the video, do hit the like button, hit the share button, hit the bell button. That'll let you know when I uh, upload a, a new video. Hit the thumbs up button as well. That'll let me know that you're enjoying the video. And leave your comments down below if you are at uh, the Bradley Community Stadium. Um, do let me know what you, you know what you guys thought of the game. It was uh, it was a good game to start with and. Really, overall, you can't fault it. It's been a good day for Grimsby. So hit the like button, share, subscribe, comment, do all that good stuff. Leave me your opinion on Toby Malarkey leaving for Crawley. Obviously, we know about Gav leaving for uh, leaving us at the back in the last season. Now he's at Crawley. And the two arrivals, obviously, Lewis Cass and um, the guy from Iceland, Sir Barson. Signing for us as well. Give me your thoughts on this. Uh, are you happy? I'm, I'm looking forward to this because to me, there's no pressure on a lot of these lads. Uh, at least not yet. And uh, you know, I'm intrigued to see what they can all do. But if if Matty Carson and and Cameron McDonough can hit uh, dead balls like that, wow. We are in for a treat, aren't we? So, like, share, subscribe, all that other good stuff that I've said during this video. 
and leave your comments down below. I'll read them and I'll get back to you, of course. Any questions as well you've got for me, do leave them in the comments down below. In the meantime, guys, I'm going to get off now. I'm going to stop rambling. Uh, have a have a have a good have a good one, guys. Whatever it is you are doing, and I will see you in the next one. Up oh, the manners, and we've started again. By the way, before I go, you know, what what do you think of this new away shirt? Obviously, you can just see the top of it here. Um, I think it's I think it's great. By the way, can I just say that? I think it's a great shirt that we've got here for away. And I thought, you know what? I'll, I'll wear. We're away from home, so even though the, the lads did play in the home uh, gear, I thought we're playing away. I'll come in my away gear. So I did. And by the way, I think it's a great. I think both shirts, both home and away shirts, are are are, are cracking shirts. So um, if you're wearing this shirt, what did you think of it? And so, what do you think of the whole day in general? Let me know down below. And until then, guys, after 30 minutes, I will see you guys in the next one. ta guys. Up the manners. And we are back. I'll see you soon. Ta-da. Bye-bye. Have a good one.